Okay, in today's video, we're going to go over a problem concerning the work done by a force when that force is applied above the horizontal, or when the work, excuse me, when the force and the displacement are not parallel to each other. Now, in the previous video, we did an example where the force was horizontal and the displacement was horizontal. But in this case, you'll notice the applied force is above the horizon or is not parallel to the displacement. So we have this situation where we have an object. It doesn't matter what object it is. There's just some object, a sled, a box, a car, something that you're going to be pulling, and there's no friction between the object and the surface. Okay? Now, we have a situation where we're going to apply a force of 125 newtons, and that force is applied above the horizon or above the horizontal, and we're going to move the object, okay, 50 meters, and we want to know how much work does this force do when it moves this object 50 meters? Now let's remember the definition of work. Work is the product of the magnitude of displacement. That is simply the distance, and we're given the distance, the distance is 50 meters. And the component of the force parallel to the displacement. Now you'll notice this force is not parallel to the displacement. So we need to figure out what component of this force is parallel to the displacement, and we are going to do that using our trig functions. Now, first of all, we have this line. This line is parallel to displacement. It's a horizontal line. The object is moving in the x direction. And we have this angle right here, and this angle is 30 degrees. So in this case, the angle is 30 degrees. Now, in order to get the component of the force that is parallel to displacement, we're going to have to use our trig functions. You should kind of notice here we have a right triangle. So we can use our sine and our cosine. We need to decompose this vector into its x component, and we could therefore also decompose it into its y component, but in this case, we don't need the y component. We're only concerned with the x component. Now, to get the x component of this vector, this is our hypotenuse, this is our angle, this is our adjacent side, we're going to use the cosine, and to get the x component, we simply take the force, 125 newtons, and we're going to multiply it times the cosine of theta. Now, if we needed the y component, that's the opposite side, and that would be the force, or the hypotenuse, times the sine of theta. But for the adjacent side, which is the side we want in this case, it's Fa, or the force, times the cosine of theta. All right? Now, that would give us this equation, that the work is the force times the distance. Now, normally you don't see it written like this, but I just want to point it out that we have Fa cosine theta. So we have Fa cosine theta. That's the force. That gives us, when we multiply the force times the cosine of theta, that gives us the component of the force that's parallel to the displacement. And then we simply multiply it times the distance. Now, normally in your textbook, you see it like this, Fd cosine theta. That's the equation for work that you will see in most textbooks. Now, why is it cosine of theta? Just to point out, remember, it's F cosine of theta. That gives us the component of the force that's parallel to the displacement. So it's just Fd cosine theta, the force times the distance times the cosine of the angle between the displacement and the force. So that gives us 125 newtons is the force, 50 meters is the distance, cosine of theta gives us the component of the force it's parallel to the displacement, and you end up with an answer of 937.5 joules. So when you have a force of 125 newtons that's applied 30 degrees above the horizon, above the horizontal, and you move an object 50 meters, you do 937.5 joules of work. Okay? Pretty straightforward, I think. Now, I just want to point out that in that case we were pulling but oftentimes you're pushing an object. Now we have the same force, the same angle, and the same distance, and there's no friction, and you can see whether you push or pull, you do the same amount of work. The angle is here, this is still Fa cosine theta, it's the adjacent side, so it's just Fd cosine theta, which is the force, 125 newtons, times the distance, 50 meters, times the cosine of theta, theta being the angle between the displacement and the force, and you end up with the same force, excuse me, the same amount of work. Okay, 
So it doesn't matter whether you push or pull, you do the same amount of work as long as there's no friction. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you found that video helpful, you can give me a nice comment in the comment section below or a thumbs up. Thank you, and we will see you in the next video.